When it comes to studying prehistoric eras, there is no doubt that the Mesozoic is one of our favourites. Not only did Earth bloom its first flowers, but it was also the age of one of the most amazing groups of creatures to have ever lived, the dinosaurs. Be it small and carnivorous, or giant and herbivorous, I bet there are no other creatures that might have struck as much fear, fascination and awe into our hearts as them. Admit it, dinosaurs are cool as. I'm Thomas Heaton, and today I'm teaming up with Google Arts and Culture to tell you about 10 dinosaur fossils you must know about. Formerly known as Brachiosaurus, the Giraffa Titan branchi was first discovered between the years of 1909 and 1911 when the Museum für Naturkunde in Berlin commissioned work to excavate fossils in Tendaguru, Tanzania. During this time, 250 tons of dinosaur fossils were uncovered, the most notable of which belonged to this dinosaur. This Jurassic giant had a long neck that made it look like a giraffe, and its forelegs were longer than its hind legs. It's estimated that the creature might have weighed 30 tons, and measured as long as at least two school buses. But despite its enormous body, the Giraffe Titan branchi had a relatively small brain. Among the amazing creatures exhibited in London's Natural History Museum lives Dippy, an outstanding Diplodocus carnegii. Named after Andrew Carnegie, who sponsored the expedition that discovered the species, Dippy was uncovered in Wyoming in 1899 and is known to be the most complete example of its species, measuring between 24 and 26 metres. Dippy's story is quite an interesting one because he was one of the dozen replicas donated by Andrew Carnegie to different European monarchs. The one in London was donated to King Edward VII in 1905 after he spotted drawings of the skeleton when visiting Carnegie's Scottish castle. This gentle giant is part of the Diplodocus family, dinosaurs characterised by having double beamed bones in their extremely long tails. If we move across to mainland Europe, specifically to Belgium, we find the Bernisar Iguanodons. On April 1878, a team of coal miners in Bernisar uncovered fossils of a herd of about 30 Iguanodons. They must have fallen into a ravine millions of years before. These giant herbivores belong to the ornithopod family. Although not certain, scientists believe that they could have walked on all four or two legs. They had large thumb spikes at the end of their hands to probably fend off predators. Even though her name suggests that she was the queen of tyrant lizards, Sue is far from being a tyrant in the Field Museum in Chicago. In fact, despite her reputation as a fierce killer, the skeleton is a favourite among the museum's permanent exhibits. Sue was an upright walking carnivore discovered by fossil hunter Sue Hendrickson in 1990. This Tyrannosaurus rex is known to be the largest and best preserved specimen on the planet. It used to scavenge and hunt during the Upper Cretaceous period about 67 to 65 million years ago. This iconic predator was native to what is now Western North America. Displayed in the Theodore Roosevelt Rotunda of the American Museum of Natural History is the tallest freestanding mounted dinosaur skeleton and one of only two Barosaurus specimens in the world. In a picturesque prehistoric drama, this enormous long-necked long-tailed herbivore protects its young from an attacking predator. Its cast is made from a real fossil skeleton discovered by the chief of the post office in Pottsville, South Dakota. When it comes to the Allosaurus, size is just a number. This relatively small bipedal apex predator can measure up to 12 meters tall, but don't let its height fool you, because it resided at the top of its food chain. Thanks to its 5 to 10 centimeter dagger-like teeth that curved backwards, their preys couldn't escape the gruesome death they awaited. You know how we're always debating on which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, I'm sure that our bird's dinosaurs is also pretty high up there on the list of great unanswered questions. In 1861, the Archaeopteryx, a bird-like creature with feathered wings but the teeth and long body tail of a dinosaur, was discovered and seemed to be a missing link between birds and reptiles. But since then, more specimens have been discovered that have allowed scientists to continue making precise interpretations of the evolutionary connection between these two. Can you see the resemblance? 
Of all the prehistoric reptiles, the pterosaur is probably the most closely related to birds than any other living reptile, so they're not quite dinosaurs. Displayed at the Senckenberg Natamuseum in Frankfurt, Germany, alongside many dinosaurs, these early vertebrates evolve their power to flight. And even though these winged lizards are closely related to birds, their wings were formed by membranes of skin and tissue, much like the wings of bats. If it's about gruesome faces that we're talking about, then I think the Triceratops wins the game. Okay, but that's cheating because it does look incredibly cute right now. Earning this name because of their three horns, this species somewhat resembles a modern rhinoceros. Its unmistakable silhouette can measure up to nine meters and its massive head makes up a full third of its body length. Imagine that. Here at Google Arts and Culture, we know her as Sophie, but in reality, she's the most complete Stegosaurus fossil skeleton ever found. Discovered in Wyoming in 2003, all of the bones in this fossil belong to a single animal, showing better than ever what Sophie would have looked like 150 million years ago. Despite missing bones in her tail, we know that this herbivore probably used its spike tail to defend itself against predators. Its backplates, which can measure up to over half a meter, may have been used for display or temperature control. Sadly, we've come to the end of our prehistoric trip, but that doesn't mean that that's all there is of our Mesoic friends. Even though humans have only seen these majestic creatures in fossils, we still share our planet with many living creatures that are descendants of the dinosaurs. Next time you see a bird or a crocodile, just think, if you go far enough back in its family tree, you'd reach a dinosaur. Well, if you were left eager for more, make sure to check out Google Arts and Culture's YouTube channel to get a closer look of these Jurassic creatures with their virtual reality experience back to life.